Hello and welcome everyone. Doris here. We are back with week 13 of Marguerite Miller's Collage Weekly Challenge. And if you'll remember, last week we got a little bit of a reprieve with only that one prompt. Well, this week we are back with the five prompts and the bonus item once again. So let's take a look at the prompts that we have for this week. Okay, we have a poem, a bird, a measurement, stitching, which can be real, drawn, or stamped, repeated rubber stamping, and the bonus item this week is a portion of a used envelope. So let's look at the items that I'm thinking about based on these prompts. First is a poem. It's called The Art of Living. And it was taken from this book here called A Garden of Poems from the Selgin Collection. I'm not sure if that's pronounced right. So let me read this to you. The Art of Living. There's a special art to living and you need a frame of mind that can overlook the showers till the sun begins to shine. To develop to the fullest, you have got to understand that things don't always function in the way that they were planned. There's a special art to living and the challenge must be met. But the longer that you try it, why the better you will get. Don't waste your time in waiting for the world to come to you. You have to climb the mountain to appreciate the view. And that was written by Grace E. Easley. Isn't that a wonderful poem? So that's what I picked for that first prompt. Second is a bird. I have this page of birds. I actually have a lot of birds, images. I just didn't, let me zoom out a bit. I'm just not sure um, which bird to pick as of right now. I'm kind of leaning towards one of these birds here. Um, or maybe I can fit this big guy in the bottom of my page. We'll see. Next is a measurement. So my initial thought was to maybe go with this old button card. Le Chic Buttons. And the part that I was considering was actually the back here. You don't see this on too many button cards. In fact, this is uh, out of all the different brands of button cards that I own. This is the only one that I have found with this actual little measuring on the back. Next is stitching, real, drawn, or stamped. And of course I like to sew. So I'm thinking about using this fabric here and maybe uh, stitch a ruffle for the page. So that's kind of what I'm looking at for that prompt. Okay. Next is repeated rubber stamping. So I'm thinking about uh, these two stamp sets. They're both Stampin' Up! stamp sets. And so I was kind of uh, maybe leaning towards something like these here that I can maybe like stamp and then stamp off just to give it a little bit of a different look. So and then on here, maybe like one of these here. The bonus item is a portion of a used envelope. And for that, I'm going to use some portion of this envelope here. My mother-in-law and I write back and forth to each other. So I thought, well, I could either, I can use like up in here. I could possibly use down here. And I might even include something within the envelope here. So with all of those ideas, let's see what I came up with using all of these prompts. Okay, I am back with my finished layout. So we had the poem. Here is my poem. And I went ahead and stitched around that. Then was the bird. Here's my bird that I've chosen. A measurement. This is that button card I showed at the beginning, the back of it. And it says, use this handy gauge for measuring buttons. Stitching. You can see I did a lot of stitching, not only around the poem, but I love making these ruffles with my scraps. I also tied in the ruffles not only here, but over here on this side of the page where I will be journaling as well. Then repeated rubber stamping. You can see I have stamping all underneath this, and I will show a picture of before I put all this down. Okay, and the stamp I used is from this year, a Stampin' Up! Free as a Bird stamp set, and I used this one here. I used this flower. 
So and then what I did to get the edge on this was I used my paper cutter, which has a scoring blade. And I don't necessarily like how it looks when I hand rip it. So what I like to do is score around the paper. And then I use this watering pen around the score line. And that makes it very easy to tear, a nice neat tear. And then I go and dab the watering pen into some ink. And that's how I got my color all around here. And I really like how that turned out. I also used that flower stamp here on my prop sheet as well and on the poem. So you can see it's, it's all over. Then the bonus item was a portion of a used envelope. So I showed earlier in the video, my mother-in-law and I write back and forth. She always sends the cutest envelopes and stationery. So I went ahead and took, here's the stamp from her envelope. So I inked around that. I cut off some other parts of the envelope and tucked it under here and then also down here. So this is my collage for week 13. Remember to check out the hashtag 2022CWP13 where you can find other crafters that are participating in the challenge. Until next time, thank you so much and have a wonderful day.